Hi guys, so today I thought it would be a good idea to build a Jedi Dagobah training in the nature since it kind of matches the scenery in Dagobah. So yeah, basically I really wanted to unbox this set, so there we go, nature, so let's get into it. Now I'm gonna start building. Uh, I really like the set as it looks really cool and I really like these green green pieces as you can really put some LEDs in it to make it look shiny and like basically an upgrade of Yoda's swamp which is gonna be cool. So now let's get into it. First I'm gonna open up the manual which looks really big but that's fine. Okay, so first we have. Wow, that's okay, a bit confusing. So we're gonna have to open pack number one, which I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna move these over there for now, and these over here. And now we're just gonna open my minifigure. I really wanted this minifigure as it's Luke in his train in his training clothes. Which I really liked. Here's a quick look at it. I'll just leave it down here. Now, moving on. We need three of these which we have over here. I'll just leave that there. Now. So for the first one, we're gonna need this white part and Okay, that went well. Now we're gonna move on to this part. And now we're gonna even need even longer pieces. I'm pretty sure almost everyone has a hard time with Lego manuals, but this one, this manual looks pretty simple, so that's good. So now we need this. Okay, we got that done. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna need this part, which I'm gonna put down now. There we go. Next page.
finish the base and so far we have one minifigure which is Luke Skywalker so I'm just gonna put him there for now and my favorite part about the base is this part which is Lego Star Wars and then it says do or do not there is no try Yoda that's my favorite part about the base uh, I, w I am gonna try and continue this so let's get on it so now we're gonna go on number two so, yep. Let's hope no littering today. Okay, now we're gonna press number two. So, yep, so I'm gonna get started on that. Oh, look at the dogs! Oh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna continue on this. I'm gonna have to open these things. Hopefully they don't get lost because um, That's gonna be horrible if they get lost because I'm not gonna go back running home trying to find more. So see ya on the third pack
I just finished bag number two and so far I'm really liking it but I do have one complaint and that's the amount of studs I just hate it uh, my fingers are feeling horrible and it is getting quite late so uh, I am gonna ask my dad to help me out so we can finish this on time or I'm gonna have to continue this tomorrow so let's continue on it I do that's bag number three and that's even more stud so that's gonna break my fingers
bag number three and later I'm gonna move on on bag number four but I don't think I'm gonna have enough time as it's getting quite dark and I do have another complaint the studs they're just too confusing I, I still hate them now the studs are my number one most hated piece well they do look good to be honest but look at all that paint you can just imagine uh, I bet that's gonna be where the X-Wing and Yoda's are over here. Can't wait to continue on it, so let's get on it. Bag number four. So guys, I had to change spot as um, the, it was getting really dark over where I was. So um, the problem was the video wouldn't turn out good. So you guys would have a poor experience with watching it. So now we've moved on to this position, which actually has the sun straight ahead of us. So... We can still have some light while it, there still is. So let's continue. We were on bag number four. First, let's open the manual so uh, we don't lose it. I, I can, okay, there we go. Bag number four. Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be the big bag because bag number four has two, two one. This one's big, this one's small. But recording with us. Oh, let's go. gonna continue. That's a little part, but that's fine. So let's start.
guys so this is all i'm gonna do for today uh, i'm gonna continue it later it's just that uh, we weren't as fast as we thought we were going to be by finishing this set. We have done a lot of progress, but we have got two more bags to do, including R2-D2 and Yoda. So, I'll see you guys a bit later. So, hi guys. Um, I'm back, same place, just a different day. The weather looks wonderful. And hopefully we can finish the Jedi training on Dagoka. I can't wait because we were way more than halfway through. There's Luke over there, so let's get on it. I was not expecting that. I'm just going to put all those down there. Um, we'll keep him just up there, there. Luke, you can um, sit up, sit in the swamp for now. So that's the build so far. I really like it. Um, I like the interior design. It's quite simple, but it looks really cool. It really matches Yoda's size and everything. But let's uh, start building. So where did we leave it up? So all of these are extra pieces. That's my brick separator. I'm just gonna put all those back in. I'm just trying to keep everything organized so I don't mix up the parts when I open the new box. So I'm gonna put it over there. Um, and so now we're gonna continue. So let's find where we left off. Uh, so we are gonna ha have to open page. We're gonna have to open number five, but first I'm gonna try and find the page. There we go. Oh, I guess we're gonna have Yoda on this one. So, I haven't got any scissors with me today, so I guess. It's alright, she's lovely. Oh, hi. Oh, you're doing Lego stuff? Yeah. Okay. Come on. And so that's bag five. Let's open it. it there and now we have to open the little bags so because we have to build Yoda so let's try that Yoda's body is built now we just have to find Yoda's stick which is in there why does Lego have to make so many bags? So I'm gonna put this one over here. And so now, there's Yoda. And there's his stick. So there we go, that's Yoda over here. It looks really good. I really like um, the printing and everything. It really matches Yoda uh, when he when he was training Luke. So I'm gonna make Luke sit right. Yoda, actually no. Luke's gonna sit in the swamp. Yoda's gonna have the high ground right here. So that's good. So now let's get building.
So guys, we finished bag number five. Now we're gonna head to the final one, which is bag number six, and we're gonna get the dirty R2D2, which I actually really want because I have almost every version of R2D2. So let's get on. Let's continue building. Oh yeah. the minifigure uh it looks really good it does have dual printing i really like the design on the actual r2d2 so it looks really good and there we go look an r2d2 having a fun time <laughs> we ha i'm gonna leave him there for now where he when he was swimming on the the thing so let's so let's continue the build
we finished the set. Um, I do have some things, and that's one, there's too many studs and pieces like that, like small pieces. My fingers are destroyed, but um, yeah. Anyways, the minifigures are really good. I really like the R2D2 minifigure as it's quite special since most of the time we just get the boring old R2D2. Well, he's not boring, but I'm just talking about the normal character. But he looks really good with the mud design, and that's probably one of the coolest R2D2s I've seen. Then we have Luke's Luke, which is just hanging on to his life. Uh, I really like his um, design. It really matches the movie design as well. Yoda, Yoda's just Yoda, the ultimate swag. Yoda is the king of all Jedi. So yeah, Yoda's doing good. He lives in this amazing mansion built by me, by yours truly. And um, there's the X-Wing. Um, I think Luke should have been a better pilot because I don't think that the X-Wing should have landed in there. Okay, I'm not going to talk about the noise, but anyways, I really like the set as you can also see the interior where you have Yoda's bed, Yoda's kitchen area, and his, like, furnace, which is really cool. And and you even have a s small place for the smoke to come out, which was really nice of Lego to put. Uh, the, also, the leaves and everything look really good. Uh, I will be doing a, a full-on review on this, but... For now, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like. See you on the next video. Bye!